Hey guys, what's up? It's B coming from GNA today. So I recently purchased a laser range finder. Got this on a pretty good deal. It's normally a $200 range finder. This is the Bushnell Truth. Got it for $49. And I just had the question of how does this thing actually work? I know it's called a laser range finder, but how does it actually work? So I looked it up and I'm going to kind of describe how this works, although I'm not going to get into all the technical details that I don't understand myself. But just for the basic idea of what happens is what happens is as it says, it shoots out a laser and laser travels at the speed of light. And so the computer is able to figure that it, it sends that laser out, it hits some object and then it bounces back. And depending on how long it, it leaves and comes back, then this knows how far that object is based off of the, the speed of light. But I did have the question, well, if that's what's happening, then what happens if you shoot at something that's at an angle to you, that's not directly straight up and down? Well, if you think about it, if you were to shoot a, a laser beam at something that was even at an angle, as you looked at that, you could still see the laser beam on that surface, even if it was an angle. And if you can see the laser beam, even at the angle, that means that some of the light is coming back to your eyeballs. And that's the same thing with this. Um, it may not be the full beam that's coming back, but it's enough of the beam coming back on that angled surface that this can still pick it up. Okay, so just to break in from my video from earlier, I just want to illustrate this point with this laser pointer. And you can see as I'm pointing this on the edge of my coffee table here, you can see that light pretty brightly. As I move it to the top, it gets, it gets darker, but you can still see it. So what that means is that light is still coming back to my eyeballs, or in this sense, as you're looking at it, it's coming back onto the sensor of this camera. Now, the top of this tabletop is actually getting pretty close to being parallel to the vision of the of the camera here. So that proves that some of the light is still coming back. Even though it's angled away from it, it's still coming back. And so the rangefinder, same thing, it's gonna see some of that light coming back and be able to register how far that, that object is away. Because the laser beam has a, that light is a at a specific frequency. And so this rangefinder knows exactly what frequent, frequency it's looking for. So all the other light that's coming back at it, it just filters that out because it's not at the correct frequency. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is basically what the rangefinder sees, even in broad daylight, whenever there's light coming to it from, from the sun, uh, maybe from other sources of light that may be coming. It just, it doesn't see any of that because it's filtering all that out. All it sees is that laser light coming back towards it. And so basically everything is black except for the light coming from the laser and the frequency of that laser can be modulated. It can be changed uh, so that the range finder knows exactly what frequency it's looking for. And so even if it's just a little bit of that light from that laser that's coming back, it's still able to see that and it's still able to determine the distance of how far away it is. So that's it basically in a nutshell is it's sending that laser beam out and it does come back to it and it just calculates how long it takes for it to get back. Anyways, this is a sweet little range finder. It goes up to about 850 yards. Um, everything I've seen looks like it's doing pretty good. And with me doing some range finding with it, it seems to be pretty awesome. So be company from GNA today. Thanks for watching.